everybody, welcome back. Ever since Kane proposed to me like a couple of months ago, I've been doing a lot of thinking about the wedding and the kind of dress I wanna wear and how I want my hair to look and things like that. So I think I've come to the conclusion that I'm going to grow out my lob. Now, don't get me wrong, I have loved my lob so much for the last, I've probably had it for a year and a half or so, but you know how it's always like the grass is greener on the other side? <laughs> so I think it's just kind of time for me to move on and get these long, luscious locks back. But in order to get there, I am now suffering from the dreaded, awkward middle phase which I know we've all been through and it's just like you have these six months of your hair just being a bit of like like nothing really there's no style to it you don't know how to do it and I'm currently going through that so I thought I would share with you guys how I'm surviving the awkward middle phase of growing out your hair <laughs> Now I haven't cut my hair for a few months now and it's already grown a fair bit but this means that my style that I had when it was like kind of just above shoulder length isn't really holding like I'm not getting enough volume into it and it's looking a bit flat and kind of like Brady Bunchy if you know what I mean like a little bit mumsy not the spunky kind of hair that I want so my first tip is chop some layers into it chop with a strong P. <laughs> if you have a blunt cut, often it can get a bit heavy and you can kind of find it a little bit hard to get volume into the top here. And I had a really blunt cut going on. So I went to the hairdresser and I got her to chop some layers into it for me, which means now I'm able to kind of throw some texture into this and, you know, flick it around a little bit. And it's a little bit lighter and allows me to get a bit more volume with it and that's really the key for me is if you can get some texture and volume into it and have that kind of messy look then it distracts from an awkward mid-length kind of haircut so the way that I've been styling it now that it's a bit longer is I've actually switched from the 19 mil curling iron which was really tight curls to a much bigger barrel so this is a 30 mil curling iron here and I'm just kind of throwing some kinks and curls into it very messily so that I have a bit of texture and a bit of volume in it there now my saving grace with getting some oomph and texture into the roots here has actually been a new product that I've never used before but it's this Devine's I think it's called Devine's Beans. I'll put the link in the description, but they're these hair assistant volume products. So basically when I'm blow drying, I'm putting a little bit of this blow dry primer in my hair here. And then just before I curl it, I actually get this brush here, which has, you know, those texture powders. This is like that, except it's not as sticky and gritty. Like sometimes I'm finding those texture powders are almost too much and they're making my hair look a bit like frizzy and dirty. Whereas this one is like, you can still run your hand through it. So I'm just gonna pop a bit of this in. See how that immediately has way more volume to it, but I can still run my hand through it freely so it's not all sticky and gritty and kind of weird feeling. It actually feels really nice. Now once I've got this in, I'm just gonna throw some curls into it. Tip number two to speed up the process is to get yourself some supplements that are great for hair growth. Now, if you just head to your local pharmacy, there are a load of supplements out there like vitamins and stuff that will just help with strong hair and nails and even help your skin and things like that. A lot of these supplements consist of things like omega-3 fats, which are things like fish oil that really help with strong, thick hair growth. Uh, there's also a lot of different vitamins, iron, zinc, vitamin B, vitamin D, vitamin E. So you just got to find the kind of supplement that works really well for you. Right now I'm using this. It's um, Danae Montag King EFA Ultra, which is essential fatty acid. And I just take two of these every day. And I've just noticed that my hair is actually growing quite quickly. Like when I went back to the hairdresser, she was like, wow, this is like done of like two inches or so. So it does work. Um, so just take one of these and you know, you'll probably see a lot of other health benefits come through anyway. Tip number three is one that I've been getting super into and that is invest in hair accessories so I have gone and got myself a bunch of scarves to put in my hair because I think there is a lot to be said for the art of distraction <laughs> if you follow me on Instagram you may have seen me wear this one or this one 
or this one. Oh, this one actually wasn't even a scarf. This is like a belt for a play suit and I just took it off there and now I wear it in my hair. <laughs> so the way that I like to do that is either by just putting a little ponytail in. So just pop in a little low pony like that. Then I just push up here to get a bit of volume into the back of my head. And I simply just bunch these up in the middle. I kind of put a little twist in there. And a lot of the time I honestly just throw in a quick like knot at the back and it just distracts from the length of my ponytail and just has a little bit of an accessory that looks quite feminine and cute. So <laughs> it's really simple, quick and easy to do. Obviously you can play around with things like little bows or you know other designs of your scarf but it's just a tip that I'm finding is saving my life. Another super quick and easy style I like to do is actually just throw the messiest bun into this that you can possibly imagine. And then again, just take your scarf and sort of twist it a little bit. And you can do like cute little things like that. I'm also an avid fan of hats. I have a huge hat collection and I just absolutely love them. So for me, it's just super easy if you're finding your hair at the top is looking a little flat to go boop, rough that up a little bit and then suddenly you don't really have to worry about your hair at all. Now, if this whole waiting game isn't for you and you need perfect hair straight away, my best tip is to get your hot little hands on a really nice set of hair extensions. Now, you may have noticed in my Instagram and things like that that I have been wearing my Luxies a lot more, and that's just because if you get some hair extensions and you throw some layers into your own hair and then some layers into the extensions, like you can see how I've actually had these cut so that they're all different lengths, which means that these are actually really quite easy for me to blend. So even if you've got quite short hair, they can be really effective and make you feel like you have perfect luscious locks without waiting for like a year. If you've got dual tone hair color, you can always mix and match them. So I'm just gonna throw these in real quick. So I've got one chestnut and then I'm going in with a blonde. So if you have these pre-curled like I do, then it's actually really quick and simple to clip them in because all you have to do is curl your hair and then clip these in, brush through it a little bit and you don't have to wait and deal with the awkward length at all. You can just step out with a beautiful head of luscious locks right away. <laughs> so guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. These are my top tips on how I'm surviving this awkward mid-length phase when trying to grow out my hair. I'm sure you've all been through this at some point in your lifetime, so if you have any tips to contribute please let me know down below because that would be super helpful and I'm sure a lot of people watching this video would love to know your tips as well I'll keep you guys posted with status updates on my hair progress and how I'm trying to keep it healthy whilst also you know popping highlights into it and things like that so until then see you next time <laughs> bye